Hello, welcome to my V4 and V8 engine testing. Now, this isn't going to be an actual video, but it's just going to be showing the two projects I've been working on, V4 and V8. Now, they run off the pretty much the same basis. I guess I should spawn in now to show you how it works. It uses angle lock for this. Now, it uses his small, probably the smallest design I've ever made even smallest V4 and V8 engines ever made. And not only that, the very powerful could be not these ones. I mean, they only use 4 and 8 hover engines. Um, they are perfectly timed, and the timing device can simply just go on top of the hover engines once you glitch them in. So, the design stays together very uh, so the design can be expanded on and made extremely powerful and strong. And also will start up anywhere. Look at that. Start up on its own. This is just using four hover engines also, which is insane. Um, this V4 uh, can go up to 100 speed. The VA it's a little more slower because it just needs a little more power to overcome the friction of motors and stuff. Because they kind of like to lock up when you have a lot of them. But if I go around here a couple times, I can get up to 100 speed. And I bet this design could go extremely fast. Come on, pick up speed. As you can tell, like motors can be a little weird. And current updates have kind of glitched them. So they don't move very, like they can lock up. And sometimes they only spawn incorrectly, which is really annoying. Um, I'll try to show you my VA and spawn in, but it it might be a while of respawning just to get to spawn in correctly. At least with my V4, it can consistently spawn incorrectly without like having one of the pistons accidentally face through the entire camshaft. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to be gaining speed for some reason. I know I can get up to like at least 90. Hold up, let me respawn. Sometimes the game is just a little weird. Alright, come on. Could be lag too. I mean, any significant lag in the world will uh, make cover engines be slower. And so they won't speed you up as much. As you can see, we're hitting 60. I know this engine can go faster. I've seen it go 100. At least 65. Uh, yes, this is a direct drive too and um I only use this three wheels so it is helping with the friction it doesn't help with the um the trail blocks since they do add a tad bit of friction drag to the thing which isn't helpful You can see. Maybe it's the VA engine, but I don't think it was. Um, with my VA engine, it is a 90 degree. It's actually a 180 by 90, 180 camshaft. Um, all right, speed. There we go. Once we break 70, this engine starts working really well. I guess it's not happening today, <sighs> but hey, still 67 off four hover engines is insane. 70. Point. in my eight. 
Now my V8 is basically a V4, but what like has the um, but the just flipped F6 for the um timing belt. Hope it spawns in correctly. It take a while. I don't plan in editing this footage because it. All right. Oof. That's great. Our motors aren't like being weird and stuff and not lo motor locking or compressor locking. And start up. Go. Working. Now, technically, this design smoother because it's a V8. And it has a 90 degree camshaft, which is good because that helps it make it smoother. And yes, this was the engine that could go 100. And wow, I think I just broke speed records already in this design. If we hit 110, that's around max speed. Can we hit 120, people? Alright, well, we hit 120 because we were turning. Oh, come on, people. Really? Yeah, it's an unfortunate thing about engines. People like slowing them down. But yes, this VA engine yes. it does lock up a little more though because the motor is just glitchy. I think uh, Brick J might have fixed the uh, air lock issues. We hit 120. Let's go. I'm happy we hit 120. At least I got something to show with it. That's just off of four hover engines, by the way. Anyways, I think I'm going to end this test. I'll make a better video with a full tutorial on how to build these. The engines are pretty simple in my idea of it. Um, there's the camshaft. It's just two camshafts just more locked into each other. Ball joints. Yes, this design uses no signs or like uh, abuses com like invisible blocks to get um, no con collision. I mean, yes, we do use some, but... I tried to avoid that, and, you know, and if I did for no collision reasons, um, at least it was m just supposed to look like it has no collision issue. Um, you look realistic and stuff. And that's the coolest thing about it, is that it uses no sign tech, and I think the timing system is so epic too because it works well with it. It's so it's. It was hard to make at first, but I think I invented it. At least did myself in my idea. But I don't think anyone else has made this timing belt ever. And it's it's new to my knowledge. And so to get this, uh, it has 270 degrees, the one it times. And that, so it will get the, um, it will do the up... It will get when it's trying to from up position to down and it will power it right down and we do use some pressure blocks because uh, with 0.25 timing this is round where it gets around 90 degrees of of powering 180 really but 90 when it's fully down and stuff um that's because this is always a little closer to um down because it's because of the angle and stuff like it will doesn't mind kind of power stuff with that but I wasn't using it um, that is also kind of like to the lowest amount of like torque it needs to get around it. That's because we don't want to overshot it because motor 2s aren't exactly perfect when if you add a lot of power to them, they will go over their set degree of 90. 
and we don't want that because that makes the timing system off and even just a little off will completely ruin the design so yeah like for instance you know this is adding like it's already a way down and stuff so It's because when it's down, it's actually this side's like I don't remember exactly why, but I'll think of a reason why this happens. But yes, it's very small. That's the. Anyways, I think I'm going to end this testing period video. So, bye guys.